Hey guys, RC here. We are back for another match and episode with the Graf Shop here in our solo team save and taking a look at what has transpired since our last match with Emin. We had a 2 0 defeat to Vitesse, a 2 2 draw against Sparta as Timothy Stretsov got a brace and then got killed. Uh, we'll talk about him in a minute. Uh, Utrecht, a 4-3 win. Shia Tahal with a brace. Makawi and Kwesi with goals. A 2-0 defeat to Heronveen. And then a 5-3 win over FC20. Uh, Paul DeVries with a 30-minute hat trick in the first half. Shetahal and Toll also with goals. Merrick was sent off in the 66th minute but we were able to hold on. But you see, we did give up an, another late goal after the sending off. Taking a look at the competition, we are in ninth position, 22 points from 16 matches, a plus two goal differential. We're the only club with a positive goal differential down there outside of Feyenoord, but we are quickly lagging behind the leaders, which is okay, because again, all we're trying to do is stay up this year. <laughs> that is all we're trying to do. All right, taking a look, of course, with the hat trick, Paul DeVries now leads the way with eight goals, but those three goals were the first goals he's had since early in the season. 15 hours without a goal. 15 hours. Taking a look at some transfer business, we had signed Timothy Streltsov on a free. Taking a look at him, he is a striker and a right winger, attacking winger, 24-year-old Ukrainian, valued at $1.6 million. And we got him on a free. So he does have a buyout clause of about 1.4 in his contract. And honestly, if he leaves, we'll be happy with the time that we have with him. Very good finisher. As we said, uh, two goals in his debut. And uh, then he got hurt. So very, very disappointing to see him not being able to play for us right now. Speaking of injuries... If we take a look at the med center, uh, DeVries tore a groin muscle. That was right after his hat trick. He's out for five weeks. Streltsov is out three more weeks. Uh, LaRue, uh, we benched him. He played in our B team and then got hurt. He was, he's been out a couple of weeks already and uh, will be back in about two weeks as well. So we're without three pretty important players, our top two strikers. So if we take a look at team selection for today's Ajax match, we're going to go with uh, Hakan Varal in goal. And he is now happy to stay, but he would not talk about a contract extension. I wonder if we can try him again. Let's take a quick look. Nope. Uh, your squad is not strong enough to play at a level. I mean, we're in the highest level in the Netherlands, so I guess he wants to literally go elsewhere. I put a I put a price on him. I haven't offered him out, but I probably will at the end of the season unless we stay up and he's willing to talk contract extension. I don't want to lose a player of that value. That and that would be really disappointing. But anyway, uh we're going to go with Bunu on the left, Nemeth on the right, Nedib and Vanderhorst in the center. Vanderhorst is young. This might be his debut. Uh, we just called him up, I think, from our B club. Uh, 18 years old, uh, capped at the U19 level. And, yeah, I mean, he's he's not great, but he still has room to improve. So, honestly, if we throw him out there for a match every once in a while, it may actually help his improvement. And that's something I had read that I want to try. Uh, instead of putting them in and playing them consistently, you kind of have to bring them in for, you know, one, say one in three or four matches. So we'll we'll look at that. Uh, Harms up in the deep-lying playmaker role. Shed a hole and Quasi on the wings. Vander Mullen is another youngster, 21 years old, but he's got some ability up in that shadow striker role. And uh, Blondell and McCowey up top. Do I want him up there? You know what? I want to bring in Martinez today. Let's do that. See what transpires. I am not expecting anything out of today's match except for a butt kicking. 
because we're playing Ajax. And then don't forget, after this match is over, we're only going to play the one match, but I will play the other game, and, and I will come back and show you some highlights. Uh, and that'll close out this video. Depending on when I do the highlight game, it'll either be in the you know early or after the match. And I think we're playing Catwick. Uh, Alfredo Casur, sixth goal of the season. Uh, we're playing Catwick in the second round of the Dutch Cup. And that's where we were expected to make it at a minimum. So we will see some highlights from that one. Hopefully we can get a win. I'm just hoping... Uh, is he getting... I don't think that was a penalty. You know, the last few VAR reviews that I've seen like this that were in the box turned out not to be penalties. One for us, one against us. I don't think that was a penalty, but they're probably going to give this one just odds on. Penalty. Ugh, that was brutal. I think that was a, a, a pro Ajax call myself. Granis lines up. And slots it home, and we're down 2 0, and we're only in the eighth minute of the match. Let's go back to balanced. <laughs> I don't know here. Let's encourage him. Oh, I thought there was going to be a penalty in the box again. Nice block, and we kick it out, it looks like. Oh, man, this could be a long match. Oh, okay, no, no penalty there. There's a run out to shed a hole. He's on a break. Anybody in the middle for him? No, no. Bonru, he's in. And I think the youngster panicked there, passed it right back to him. Nice run in by Quazy, and he shoots it behind the net. Need to do a little bit better there. But, hey, it was a highlight, right? Got to be encouraged by that. Now, Quazy, a nice run again. Plays it off. Nemeth, Harms. And cleared out. Ugh. So I'm trying to think. This will be up Friday. So this will be up on Christmas Day. So I hope uh, if you celebrate, I hope you're having a good Christmas or whatever other holiday you celebrate around this time and if you don't celebrate any of the holidays i just hope you enjoy the uh the day off assuming you got one of those a uh, nice little flick on header martinez just a step slow getting the shot off there i will actually be on vacation this week or net well next week but this week when you see this I'll be on vacation all the way through uh, through New Year's. So looking forward to that, sleeping till 7.30 instead of 6.30. <laughs> if I don't have insomnia, which if you guys watch my channel, you know I suffer from that every once in a while. Oh my God, how did he score that? I, you know, I'm really curious. So Viral is inarguably our best player, five-star potential. I wonder if you put him on Ajax, if he would be a two- or three-star player. I'm just curious. Because remember, that's only against our club, right? Pretty sure. 
All right, let's uh, let's demand more. Jesus. Wow. I'm I'm at a loss here, fellas. All right, I'm going to shift over to the 442. I'm going to make him a defensive midfielder. We're going to make him a deep lying playmaker. Uh, winger on support. Inverted winger on support because I really don't want him attacking. Now, if we do that, then we can put these guys on attack. Let's try that. Open our flanks up a little bit more, possibly. Viral is looking really, really bad today. I, I po probably the worst match of his young career. Quasi with a nice run. Oh, look at the burst into the box. And he gets a corner for us. Oh, there was one going in at the post, possibly. Nice save. Neteb, I believe, got the head on that ball. And another one that goes across the face of the goal, but that one is wide of the mark. Wow. Two minutes of stoppage time. Show them what you're about in the second half. Maybe. We do have to you know, recognize that we are not playing with either one of our top two choice strikers, but we are playing with who were our number two and number three striker at the beginning of the season. So no, he kept it in. He kept it in, and our guy wasn't there to get it. If that would have been reversed, you know, that would have been one of those touches where our guy overruns the ball by 20 feet, stops it on the on the sideline, and then, you know, the entire other club can get to the ball before any of our players. Let's uh, demand more. We do have quite a few yellows. Morale controls it. Don't play it right up to their guy and you're not in the goal. That's just dangerous. Nice chest down. Find shed a hole on the run. He loses it. Band of Horst. All right, there's Quasi again. A little wide for Martinez. A little wide. Oh, he beats his man. Quasi is there. Tell you what, Harms, I'm going to pull you off. Oh, let's pause it. All right, let's bring records on for him. And Bunu, let's bring on Vandenberg. Vandenberg, 1980s rock band reference. He certainly, you know, he's young. He can't play any worse than the guys that we've got, right? All right, they are coming up our flank. Forces a pass way back towards midfield. They find a chink in the armor there. And Farrell just looks completely uninterested. He looks completely uninterested. 5-0. Uh, now we're going to come in and we're going to berate the team. Yeah, sorry. Oh, well, they're, they're excited that I just jumped their shit. All 
All right, let me. I am using tighter marking. Let's condense the lines a little. There's really nothing I can do here. They're just they're just better than us. I was hoping an own goal. Oh, Vanderhorst. Oh. oh, the humanity. I don't think I've ever been beaten this bad. Some of you guys may remember an event, but I'm I'm struggling to remember ever getting beaten out this bad. Yeah, he takes a hit for the own goal. You know. Look how off his line he was. What in the hell? What in the hell? Uh Demand more. I'm going to move them back to support. I'm going to just switch this up to where they're staggered on the left and the right. Attack and support. Oh my gosh. I don't even want to watch the highlights. I'm tempted just to leave the room. All right, Nemeth with a throw in. I could pull off anybody, but let's see who's, you know what, 6'2 and 6'3. Let's bring on Blondell for McCowie. Oh, and it's through. We get beat. Center back got beat. Keeper got beat. Everybody got beat. Does Granis have like five goals in this game? Am I the only one that it seems to be that way? Granis, Granis. No, that was, that was his hat trick. Okay, he just seemed like he had more. Eight nil. I have certainly never been beaten this bad in my life <laughs> in my life this is brutal wow there was nothing positive there at all at all I'm going to point the finger no, I'm not happy. No. Losing is one thing. Getting destroyed 8-0, that's another thing altogether. Another thing altogether. All right, well, let me go play the Catwick game. We'll come back and look at the highlights from that one. So I'll see you guys back here in a second while I deal with the humiliation against Ajax. All right, let's take a look at the highlights against Catwitch. In the Dutch Cup, we start off with a goal kick here by their club. We get the ball, and it comes right back in. And Toll from the number 10 spot slots that one home with a nice move up. McCowie plays this ball from our striker position. Rasmussen on the left side. He plays it into the spot, and Toll makes a run onto it. Puts that home in the 88th minute for the nail in the coffin. And we won that one pretty easily, 2-0. 18 shots to uh, 7, 61% possession. Pretty easy game, and we are back for the draw today. 16 teams going in, so we have uh, quite a few Arita VC clubs. We, of course, would like to get one of the, uh, you know, second division sides if we could. All right, let's take a look. That would be one we would like, and we don't get it. Oh, FC20 just fired their coach, by the way. Breda is one we could probably deal with. And Emin, that was another one, so that takes two off the board. 
Fortuna's one that we should be competitive with. Nope. This is one we would prefer to stay away from. That's one we would prefer to stay away from. I think Sparta's one we would have liked. All right, so here we go. So we've got AZ, Go Ahead, Venlo, Heracles, and Ultrek. I think anybody besides AZ and Ultrek we would be all right with. Heracles. So I'm happy with that draw. And it's a home game. And there are the rest of the matches. So that is what the third round will be. Now, keeping in mind, they only wanted us to reach the second round. So we have exceeded expectations here a little bit. Currently sitting 10th after that devastating loss to Ajax, who are still chasing PSV and Willem. And where do we come back? I don't feel any obligation to play the Dutch Cup on camera. If you guys are from the Netherlands or up in that area and can tell me that the Dutch Cup is the be-all, end-all, more important than the league and everything else, I will take that under advisement and uh, change my philosophy. Being that I don't know anything about it, uh, I want to come back. Uh, let's go on a handful of games here. Tell you what, we're going to play Sparta off camera. We'll show highlights from that. And then we'll play uh, Heronveen, who are currently fourth in the table. I think that would be the way to go. And then we probably come back for the season. Oh, God. I don't think I'm doing IX on camera anytime soon. Uh, <laughs> just, I, don't, I, don't need to, I don't need to submit you guys to another 8-0 butt whipping. Uh, so we're certainly not going to finish on that note. We'll probably do Grown Again and then I'll come back and mention Ajax. I may, you know, I may record the whole game just in case, you know, an upset occurs, and then I'll change my policy. But um, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. All right, guys, hit that like button, subscribe for me, and uh, have a good weekend. We'll see you next week. And uh, hey, next week, Happy New Year 2021. In real life, we're still plus 30 on that. Have a good one. Bye.